Hey guys, it's Nutritious Nugs tuning in once again with another episode of Wine Babe. Y'all, I know it's been a minute, but let's just go ahead and get started to the real reason why you are here. So this is the wine that I am going to try today. I technically low-key had a little bit of a taste test before. I got it at HEB. It was a little mini, a little mini taste test, but I kind of already forgot what it taste, tasted like because it's called the like, what is it, Lodi? Oh my gosh. It's a sweet spite, a uh, bold, a uh, sweet red blend with hints of caramelized orange. So it's a wine cocktail. It's 17% alcohol, y'all. Like, it's 7% alcohol. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how to pronounce this. Maybe I haven't been reading enough cursive in a minute. Like, it's been a minute. So, what is it, Lolly? No, no, no. Bobby? Lobly? I don't know. Y'all look at this. Just look at the... Look at the bottle, okay? This is the back. I'm gonna read that to you in a minute. But, like, I also chilled the wine, so it's got some of that condensation on there. But I just thought it looked like a really cool bottle. I only tried a little bit of it. I was like, I think I like this better. So, and then also I have my family downstairs to, like, try it as well. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and taste test it. All I know is it's a sweet and spicy wine, basically cocktail. And yeah, it's just a twisty, which is honestly good. So I just twisted it off, honestly. Um, ooh. I almost forgot how to do the actual wine thing. What is it? Uh, how are you supposed to taste test the wine? Okay. Okay. My palate is somewhat fresh. I have some water. Let me make it a little fresh because I technically have tea. Hold on. Okay, clear up my palate just a little bit. Okay, so you're supposed to like tilt it or something like that and I'll let the oxidization happen. It's been a minute, y'all. I might have to go back to my own, but maybe like my first wine babe <laughs> video to see how the proper way to taste test wine is to really see if they'll like it and if this is a good wine because technically I just had like a little shot of it. So I don't remember how it tasted. That way I can't really... I, w I just want to at least grab it again so I can explain it for you. But um, let's see. Okay, I know you have to do like sips and like, okay, let's try. Yes. Okay. I'm tasting that caramelized orange. Oh, I said I was gonna read this for y'all. Um, let me read this and then I'll let you know if it tastes exactly how it is. So, lowly, 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 whatever. Fruity, loud, juicy, like Saturday night. And it's funny. It's like Saturday evening. <laughs> Saturday night sweet spike is a pop of flavor. Four moments that call for something bolder. A spiked rich red blend with hints of caramelized orange. Best served chilled over ice with a side of fruit. Ooh, and I had ice, but I chilled the wine. So I was like, okay, I'll just chill the wine. Um, if I didn't want to do the video right then and there, because it was still kind of daylight. But the fact that it says Saturday night. Um, but over ice with a side of fruit. Okay, so bottled by International Wine Merchants, Modesto, California. Contains sulfites <laughs> in the government warning label. But remember, again, this is 17% alcohol, y'all. Again, look at the bottle. Let me taste it again. So I do taste that. I do taste that sweet spicy. I do. So that's something that if you're like into when it comes to red wines, 
that's something new because it's a sweet spicy like hit kind of like a pep not too peppery but like a a twang of the wine that makes it a spice not in a twang of an alcohol twang of a like a taste but i don't know how to explain it hmm I'm definitely tasting that fruity blend. It's definitely a better red wine. This is probably a red wine I would pick if I was making like a meaty dinner uh, or like lunch or whatever. Only because I feel like it would really like wash it down because that red wine helps to wash it down really well. But I will say this, I'm usually not a big fan of red wines, which is why I would say this was something I would probably buy again. I just, I know I'm going to be sharing it. And with that, it's kind of like, I taste that boldness. And it is a sweet red. So it's, it's a sweet enough red to where I like it. And because it's like a spice kick to it, it's like making it better. Mm. Yeah. I'm going to definitely finish this and then I'm going to finish drinking... Something I've kind of been drinking, which is these Cayman Jacks in really every flavor. I've been drinking those in like every flavor at this point. And I I don't know what my favorite one is, but y'all, that was another episode of Wine Babe, y'all. Definitely tune in next week because I'm really excited to share something with y'all and this channel because it was a start of something new. It's a new path that I'm definitely taking on. Y'all don't judge the hair. If anything, the fro is growing and I'm trying to pick it out as much as I can. So if anything, let's do another wine tasting. Let's do another cheers. That's a goodbye. We'll see you next time. Maybe I should finish it. Hold on. Mm. Great. Bye.